Bleep bloop. Hello world, welcome to another episode of Road Games with the Bloody Jug Band. I am Cragmire. Today we have with us Death Ray. Hello. Stormy Jean. Hello. And we are going to give you the bullshit and banter that we incur and we encounter on the road while driving across this great land. Stormy Jean is the resident hat puller outer and game master. Why don't you uh, tell us what game we, we will be playing today? Today we're going to be playing what we like to call Florida Man True or False. Florida Man. Florida this Man. is a new, new game. Yes, it's a new game. Uh, Ray, do you want to give him a, a, a taste of... We, we've been working on a Florida Man theme song because uh, we knew this game was going to be in the works. Right, yeah. A new segment. Florida Man. Uh, uh, we don't want to give him too much. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's too much already. Okay, so stay tuned for the uh, Florida Man theme Florida song. Man. Um, another part of road games and in this we are going to as far as I understand it Stormy is going to read us headlines supposed Florida man headlines we have to go true or false we have to go true or false and now people that don't know uh, uh, all of us live in Florida uh, it is the penis of the what, what is it what do they call yeah, it the wang of America oh yeah yeah uh, and there are a lot of jackasses in Florida that <laughs> like to do silly things they get in the news quite often and uh, these are things at any given time that you and I could do as, oh, Florida, yeah. as Florida men um, so nothing is too absurd for us here in Florida much more than just hanging chads and gator fucking or whatever what was the doing. first thing we were doing hanging chads wasn't that a thing dangling Dangling chat. Oh yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Um, that's where I think that the uh, idiocracy of the Florida populace right. came into co uh, modern, you know, popular culture. But this is a true or false game, so there's going to be something that may not be Florida Man, is what you're saying. Sure. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we get to see if it's Florida Man. The guy might be Maryland from, Man. Like, might be Maryland Man. Okay. Stormy is going to try to trick us. Um, best of five is the winner. Okay. Best of five. Okay, Stormy, uh, give us the first headline. Professional pooper scooper gets probation after faking Secret Service ID to impress women online. Florida man. I went false, not not Florida man. I think that's like a Washington man. Say it again. Say it again, Stormy. Professional pooper scooper gets probation using fake Secret Service ID to impress women online. Yeah, why would you need a Secret Service ID in Florida? That's got to be false. And you think that, as a pooper scooper, you would, that's already enough of a, like you're already getting that's laid. That's prestigious, yeah. Well, I think you're already a ladies' man. You're a, a, a man the, about the town. Um, like, how do you, like, so what do you do for a living? Oh. I'm a pooper scooper? Yeah. Like, is that you just come out with it? Or? Secret service. So he, he thought that wasn't good enough, got right, a secret so service. Right, so secret service is a step above the pooper scooper. The idea is that when somebody asks him what do you do for a living, I can't tell you. Oh. Secret. I can't tell you. If I tell I, you, I gotta kill you. I can't tell you that I shovel poop up for a living. So I now is he being? Is this like you know pooper scooper being hired by people to walk their dogs? I would think dog walker is more prestigious than pooper scooper. Right. But he's just hired to solely pooper scooper at large. Like is that a city job? That seems like a city job to me. Like, just walking know. around the parks, cleaning up the dogs. For, all, for the eighty percent of the dog owners that don't pick up their own poop, uh, it's, he gets the onus of it. Okay, I'm gonna say not Florida man. Yeah, uh, I don't think that's Florida man. That's a false for me as well. Yeah, false. What, what do we have, Stormy? He is actually a, from Pittsburgh. Oh, He's a Pittsburgh yeah. Man. That reeks of Pittsburgh. <laughs> Pittsburghian. Yes. He's quoted to saying yeah. to the judge, uh, "Your Honor, I'm not a bad man. I'm a dumb man." Uh, yeah. Damn it! I've could have been a Florida man. Yeah, I've used that defense so many times when dealing with. Uh, and how's that worked out for us? Uh, well, we're here. I still <laughs> seem to have my driver's license. We're still a step ahead of him. Yeah, and we are uh, and, on the road. So okay, and not shoveling poop up for a living. And, and as far as the audience knows, not running from the police. So uh, we are not on the lamb heading to a bloody jug band show. Okay, Stormy. Uh, so I think that's. So we both won. Yeah. yeah. Point of peace. Point of peace. Okay. Point of peace. So you're. Tied neck and neck. Uh, okay. Next one. Florida man charged with murdering girlfriend says she choked to death on his penis. Ah, uh, true, true. Uh, Florida men known for having big wings. <laughs> Gotta be true. She choked to death on his penis. Yes. On his penis. And he was arrested for that. 
he was arrested in her death for murdering her. She, oh, well, and this crime of passion, obviously. This obviously. is his defense. In his defense, he was packing such heat, she couldn't handle it. I still think he's a Florida man. I, go, I think that goes without saying. Like, where else do you find action like that? He admits that he killed her, but denies that he did it deliberately. Ah. It's, it, it, I mean, he, he's blessed. I mean, God gave him this gigantic wing. wing. Yeah. Throat, throat filling wing. Wow. At what point, though, I mean, this is an aside, but at what point do you stop? Like, oh, whoa, whoa, I'm dying. Like, at what point, after her eyes roll back in her head, she hits the floor? I mean, like, at what point does she not bite down? Like, because that's a stop. Or, like, say, stop. Yeah. Okay. Like, oh, no. It's, <laughs> that's your your safe word is biting down? <laughs> you bite down super hard, I'm out. Done. Okay, that's that's as good as banana. Instead of like maybe just tapping me on the leg. Right, you don't have to say like Norton or something, so I know that you're done. Like, like ooh, that's too much. Just bite down. I'm gonna get the hint. But yeah, that's that's a good. That's the. I'm gonna say universal sign. So you're going what? So I gotta be Florida. Gotta be Florida man. Okay, I'm gonna say not Florida man because I I had never heard the, the myth that people from Florida had big uh, penises. Oh yeah. I don't think it's inherent of living in Florida. I think you can. Many, I think you've completely missed it. Then. Many, you not lived here long enough. Well, many many areas could, you know, many states of the union could have uh, be no Texas. You know, everything's bigger in Texas, right? Yeah, so that's a rumor. so I'm gonna Except say for that. I'm gonna say Except he's. For that. I'm gonna say he's from Texas, not from Florida. And you say Florida. Strong, Florida. What do we have? What do we got? He is from Margate, Florida. Hey! I knew it had to be. No See, option. The actual whole premise of this article is he is uh, petitioning the court to show his penis to the jury so that they understand his his defense. The murder weapon. Yes. Murder. Well, you, I mean, I think you have to. You have to. They, they have to see it. Begging for it. They okay. They have to see it. Stormy, what's uh, next headline? So now it's two to one. Two to one. I'm up. I'm up. All right. Nailing it. Florida man allegedly scans his penis at a supermarket checkout. <laughs> you want to go first? It's strange that we were trying to find games that would not get us in the muck so right. much. And this is like, how we cleaned it up. Yeah, an awful lot of... We didn't make these headlines up. These are not made up headlines, right, Stormy? No, no. These are these all are tried and true headlines, okay? Legitimate headlines. Vetted, if you will. Stormy did her research. Um, uh, I think just from the sheer stupidity, but I don't really understand it. Like, uh, are you at the grocery market? Like, Stormy and I were shopping earlier, and we went to the self checkout. I didn't think that they were saying like, put your dick up, scan your. <laughs> unless there's a barcode, or you <laughs> like, you know, you can't buy a penis at, at Walmart. So when you're there, you can't, yeah. it is, seems is that strange. The one thing you can't buy at Walmart. I guess I'm going to say Florida man on that one because I think the sheer stupidity. He they didn't say the size of his phallus. Uh, they just said how this is slanting on the side of how, how idiotic he is. I'm going to go Florida man. I'm going to go. I'm going to go not Florida man. I'm wow. going to go false. I'm going to. I think that happened. I think it is a little classier if you live in Florida. I think it's a. You know that your penis is not going to scan at the. That's inherent with. Yeah, I, I think when you cross the state line into Florida. Like when you stop at the first visitor center, there's a there's a pamphlet they give you. Oh, by the way, your penis does not scan. Will not scan. At uh, the convenience. So I got. I think they let you know when you get it. Like it might have been a thing in your state. Like right. you know, on the way here, weed dispensaries or whatever. Like some sort in Georgia, penis scan. Everywhere of, you go. Right. If they had a theme park like south of the border, Disney, truck stop, scan your penis. I mean, that's like a form of ID. I think so, yeah. Okay, but not in Florida. Just like a fingerprint. So I'm going to say Florida, you say not Florida. Not Florida. Stormy, what do we have? Seattle. Yeah! Seattle. Breaking them in. So it's three to one. I know my penises. That's... No, it's two to one. I got three because we tied on the first yeah, one. Yeah, tied on oh, the first right, one. right, right, right. Okay. I won't sandbag. I'll make it a real fight for you. Okay, Stormy. So uh, it is. next topic, next to headline. Florida store clerk can't read robber's poor handwriting on the note. First. Gotta be true. Poor because of the poor handwriting. Right. I mean, so we know now people from Florida, big penises, smarter than everybody else around us. Poor penmanship. Poor penmanship, though. Poor which is not doesn't is not a sign of intelligence. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, it, like it's just it, uh, I scribble this shit. My, my yeah, you know. look at you. I mean, biggest damn brand in town. Yeah. Oh, this funny. 
The clerk said he couldn't read the handwriting and handed it back to the man and asked him to read it to him. <laughs> Which I think is another hallmark that we're in Florida and not necessary to be able to read to work at a convenience store. He couldn't read it. Oh, so we're putting it maybe on the clerk. Yeah, I think it might be on the clerk. <clears throat> He's like, like, this guy could have had impeccable penmanship. And just like, no, uh, no, uh, <laughs> no. Nondescript bad accent here. Yeah. No uh, understand, though. No. <laughs> huh. I wanted to no comprende, maybe? I Okay, well, you said Florida man. I guess the only way I'm going to gain points at this point is, is not, opposite. So I'm going to say not Florida man. Stormy? Uh, you are correct. Youngstown, I, Ohio. Youngstown, oh, Ohio. That's, that's, <laughs> that was my other option. That was my plan B. Well, you you were uh, born native, and raised yeah. Yeah, yeah, in, in Ohio, so you knew. But it was a split decision. It was a, well, I'm doing that in Ohio. Ohio. So, yeah. Okay, so now it is three to two. Three to two. Last question. Last question. Last question. Last we can either tie or Ray's going to pull ahead. All right. Florida man arrested for seven million bank fraud uses Jesus as his defense. Ooh. Seven billion bank fraud. Yeah. B or M? B. B. Billion. B. Billion. Wow. And he blamed Jesus. Claimed Jesus did what? Well, he said uh, Jesus' defense. Um, Illegal transfers from the bank because Jesus Christ created wealth for everyone and has pleaded guilty to a single charge. Oh. So his chances. I think anytime you're using the Jesus play, it's a strong play. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's hard to. Uh, you're, you're definitely going to be potentially acquitted for it. You know, we do live in the South, but Florida is kind of like the North of the South uh, with all the snowbirds. Even though we're the furthest South that you can get. Right, but I think we're so far south that actually so many snowbirds so people around. moved to Florida that we are more northern than southern. Okay, I buy that. I'm going to make a blanket statement that more people, less people in the north believe in Jesus. Oh, really? Okay. I think That's maybe. Cold. Yeah, I think. Or, or at least they, they wouldn't use Jesus as a defense. Uh, above the Bible Belt. Yeah, above the Bible Belt, I think that people <laughs> probably love Jesus, you know? I mean, how, how could you not, you know? But not um, using the Jesus defense. Right. I think that the, to use that, you have to be like full bore Jesus. And um, potentially have a Jesus or a cross tattoo, you know, and I don't think you see that as much uh, in the north. Outside of prison. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> but since Florida is the north of the south, I'm going to say not Florida man. Not Florida. Okay. Not, so I got to go Florida man, man. You don't have to do I don't want to influence your vote. Because the best, I mean. You would still win. I would tie or win. Mm -hmm. Hit me get the question one more time. A uh, Florida man arrested for $7 billion bank fraud uses Jesus as his defense. Uh, let's see. Uh, he told investigators he believed he could attain wealth that Jesus Christ created for him. It was a long time ago. So, I mean, the, uh, the inflation is Back crazy. Back when $7 billion was real money. Sure. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I think he originally, it could have been $7.00. But with the Jesus inflation, since Jesus, you know, gave From his, his wealth, time, like, man, the inflation came goes to seven billion. That's how he came up with that number. Right. Um, Ray, what are you gonna do? That reeks of Florida man to me. So I'm gonna, I, I gotta go Florida man. I just, I, well, well, there's a church on every corner. That just. So I said not Florida Man. No, you said Florida Man too, didn't you? No, I said not Florida Man. No, you, not Florida Man. Because he was from the north, All right. didn't believe in, in All right, Jesus. So I'm going to go Florida Man. Okay, and I'm not Florida Man. It is indeed Florida Man. Ah, champion. Champion, so champion, right. of champion of the world. Champion Florida Man. Champion of the world. Uh, so as an outro. What did I win? What did I win? Uh, a handshake. Champion, champion of the world. Good job. Uh, well, you are true. One night stay in a skeezy beat front motel. In with Florida, a Florida man. In Florida. With a Florida man. Uh, as an outro, Ray and I are going to give you another little taste of the Florida man jam. Florida man. That was a good one. That, that has fun. been another episode, probably the uh, inaugural episode of Florida Man as Florida part of man. the road game uh, plethora of games we give you. We hope you enjoyed it. Stay out of Florida, folks, and we will... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the tagline, stay uh, out of Florida. <laughs> uh, for Stormy Jean, Death Ray, I am Cragmire. We will see you next time. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and commenting. And I do stay out of Florida. See you
music on the road. Beep boop.